Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video review of AOKP ROM, which is Android Open Kang Project ROM with the Android version 4.0.4, as you can see here, for the LG Optimus One. This is the AOKP version, so I can show you here the AOKP P500 Build 40 ROM. This is the Build 40. For those of you that were commenting on my last video and saying that the ROM was not booting, that was not the case, the case was that I had just ran out, run out of space on my SD card and therefore I could not complete the video. So I've already done a video showing you the new features of Android 4.0.4 for this phone. So I'm just going to tell you the changes from this in reference to the Cyanogen Mod 9 video which I made. So these are the things that have changed and what is new just for the AOKP ROM. So we have themes here and we have ROM control. Themes are present even in the Cyanogen Mod 9 ROM. So you can have a navigation bar as you do have in the Galaxy Nexus. You have your lock screen options in which you can use more than one custom app starter. I have just left it on stock for just the camera. Then you have your weather options and on your lock screen you can also get your weather update like this. So you can tell what the weather is straight from your lock screen you don't need to unlock your phone and th then you have your status bar options and then you have performance so you can set your minimum maximum CPU frequencies straight from the settings you don't you do not need to install a third party application for that and then you have your startup tweaks I don't know what most of this means so I'm just going to ignore it and these are all built into the settings menu of the phone and this is as you can see they have the AOKP logo in front of them so this is only for AOKP ROMs so now we go back in, in the status bar drop down we have toggles brightness you can remove the toggles or you can have the toggles back on holding this button will take you to the settings so you can go back from there and you can take it down and then new optics the camera app has been improved by a whole lot so now you can take images and videos with no problem whatsoever so I can take a photo now and it has taken the image I can go and view it here The gallery app is also completely stable now. And as for videos on the gallery app, it they still need to be below 480p. They will run if they are 320 into 480p or less than that, resolution wise. But if they are any more than that, they will still be like a slideshow degree. That goes with YouTube as well. So if you want to watch high quality videos, they will stutter a lot and they will not be smooth. Whereas if you watch normal quality videos, they will not at all stutter. They will be completely smooth. And that's all that's new. Also the launcher has been changed. That comes pre-installed with this ROM. You have the Nova launcher. And these are the Nova settings. You can change your transition effects. You can back up your launcher settings. You can change your dock settings, look and feel. And if you like the launcher a lot, you can also buy the premium version which is the Nova launcher prime. Uh, you can purchase it from the play store it allows a lot of features that uh, you cannot use in the free version so you can buy nova launcher prime and i was also off topic from the rom i was also wondering if there was any place where you could buy an oem battery case for this mobile because mine is in quite a bad shape so if you guys know anywhere that i can buy one of these please help me out in the comments also my birthday is coming up and I'm thinking of getting a new phone either the Motorola Atrix 2 or the Xperia P so if you guys have any suggestions on which phone I should buy please don't hesitate to help me out in the comments